we've decided to rent a camper van from Tokyo, but we booked it during a time where there's a typhoon scheduled to hit Japan. announcements what's going on i'm hoping that wasn't there's a typhoon on the way everyone get to low ground <laughs> good morning and welcome to day four of our camper van experience through japan last night we stayed in fukia kogan campground in miyagi prefecture we just woke up and trying to figure out what we're doing today. Whether we go further north towards Hokkaido or start looping back down towards Tokyo. We're just trying to figure it out now, checking out the path of the typhoon and trying to plan around that. I think either way we're getting poured on somewhere. So we just gotta decide where that's gonna be. Typhoon Lon getting closer and closer to Japan. It is still a few days away and has weakened a little, but still very much a dangerous storm. It's been a very fickle storm, north, south, all the like. If you're in Tokyo, you still could be very, very close to what could be a dangerous storm and heavy rainfall for sure as well, no matter what. So today we're going to get to the Ginzen Onsen town. And it's just about an hour from here. And then after that, we're gonna go try to find a campground on a lake. So we'll see if we can get there. I think our total time is about four hours driving combined. arrived at Ginzen Onsen. But it's a little bit of a hike, I think. Not too bad. But that's really pretty. Looks nice. coming out of here it's just a blast of cold air and I need to get in it oh yeah. I'm so sweaty <laughs> I don't know what we've Holy. walked to here outside of Ginzen town <laughs> some god. kind of underground shaft to where oh my god that's crazy this is crazy look at that Let's go explore. Oh, this is scary. Where are we going? It's all lit up nicely. Oh, wow. This is so crazy. What? This wow, is this is. 
I can barely fit through here. Holy shit, look at this. I don't know what this place is, but there's like holes over here, like, was this a mine? Look at this. Wow. Bat just flew at my head. It went in here. So oh, there it is. What? Oh my god. What? Oh, here comes another one. Oh no. Are they flying, oh. Away? Are they flying away from us? Yeah. Really? He just flew out of the tunnel. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Ginzen Onsen and we just did a little walk through, found some crazy tunnels with bats, which is maybe just as cool as this town, because this town is like what you would imagine like a Japanese theme park to look like. I mean, look at this. It's very unique. Yeah, yeah, very much like a fairy tale. Definitely recommend checking this out if it's oh, yeah. on your way anywhere. This yeah. is an unexpected stopover. Almost missed it. Almost. Glad we made it. And now we have to keep going because we need to find a place to camp tonight. And maybe like a lunch that isn't ramen instant noodles <laughs> for a change. But we'll see what we can do. Humidity in the summer in Japan is seriously no joke. I'm thankful we have this van and this AC to come back to. Because, oh my god. And like, big jugs of cold water and a fridge yeah. to put them in. Because oh, this is honestly saving my life right now. Japan is very lush in the summer. So many different colors of green. Mantanga. So regular is red. Right? Okay, we just saw a bear. We have to turn around to see if we can get it. On camera. It was a little black bear in the ditch. Okay. Like in here? In here. Yeah. So today is the main day for the Japanese holiday Oban. Um, so I think it's the busiest today. We're here in Lake Hibara and we basically have gone all the way around the lake at this point. There's a lot of campgrounds but they're either full or closed. We have one more we're trying. I've been driving all day so I'm exhausted. We're gonna try one more, and if that's full, then we will do another Michi Noeki tonight. All right. Well, it looks like they said we could park anywhere, so I'm not we sure. Park anywhere. I'm not sure. We're just kind of on the grass again, right next to the lake. Yeah. But hey, we got a spot. That was our last ditch effort.
this morning. Very nice. And it was quiet, relatively, it's like a fishing spot. There are tons of fishermen here. I'm trying to figure out where to go today. Mm -hmm. We have one last night. We gotta leave enough time to get back tomorrow. Yeah, heading closer to Tokyo, so it might be busy. I'm thinking about Nico National Park, which is nearer to Tokyo, but it might be pretty busy with. Yeah, it's one of Tokyo. the most popular national parks, right? And we're still in the holiday period, so. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Good morning. It's day five. Pretty nice little campground to wake up to. And not bad result for having found this and getting a lake spot at the last minute. This place was actually closed when we got here and the guy we figured out with our Google Translate app and some bad translating that the reception was closed. But he let us stay anyway and we're just paying this morning. I'll we'll have to go track him down before we leave. And yeah, it's a pretty good sleep here. Facilities are nice. See like little bathrooms over there, right across from us. Nice little wash area. Yeah, trying to get ready, trying to get going. It's a little later this morning. It's like what? Seven? Seven thirty? Seven thirty. And we have another four plus hours to do, so and hopefully there's a spot that we can camp tonight. Yeah. We've avoided the Michi Noekis. Tonight might be the night we have to do that. It might be the night. Love our little camper. Should hopefully be about 20 bucks to have camped here last night. Didn't really say it, so. Get me in that dino butt. <laughs> Finding a castle, Saruga Castle. It's right in the heart of the city. Three hundred yet. Okay, three bucks. All oh, my castles personified in a cartoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. check this place out but we actually circled back found out that we're gonna drive right by it so we got to check it out it was 300 yen to park and I think like six to nine hundred per person to go in but it's all in Japanese you can't take photos and we have a lot of ground to cover today so we're just here enough to just see from the outside it is lovely Looks pretty cool, but I don't really know anything about it. So insert here or we'll after. Research it later. We'll research it and then we'll learn more about it after. Nice. Again, no English signs. So yeah. Here is what this castle's about. So Saruga Castle was built in 1348. It was one of the last strongholds of the samurai supporting the shogun, and. It was demolished in the Boshin War in the 1860s, so they had to rebuild it. It was rebuilt in the 1960s, um, so pretty recent, but it was beautiful. I thought it was quite nice, but 
yeah, it was worth a stop. What do you think? 10 out of 10 would pay 200 yen again. <laughs> nice. All right, we got a long way to go. Michi Noeki in the mountains. Lots of food options. A little market. Six eighty. Here's some. Are you up? How to get to the giant mess? What'd you get at the Michi Noeki? Agamochi, which is like a sticky rice base into little skewer balls. Uh -huh. And then some french fries and uh, potato wedges. So this was five dollars. And then and really expensive is, fruit. And for three pear apples it was six dollars. What we're hoping is pear apples. We don't know really. We'll see. <laughs> so it's pouring. We just came into a town from the mountain pass. It is pretty torrential. How do you feel? Is this a typhoon? Wait, right? It's could today is supposed to be the day the typhoon hits Japan. We're obviously not in the direct path of it, but, but oh it man, it could feels be like affecting it. us still. It definitely feels like it. We did a little detour stop seeing this on Google Maps. It's called Tobu World Square and it recreates all the monuments of the world. That's a bit expensive, it's like almost $30 each. But we're, we've been doing things pretty cheap, living a 7 Eleven diet. <laughs> so I think we can yeah. justify this. Just mm. stop pouring rain, so hopefully we avoid the rain. Yeah, we wanted to see all the wonders of the world and the monuments of the world. And now we don't have to. We're just going to go here. All in one place. And then we're going to go home. That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look at my crazy drone shot of this building. Oh, no, wait. It's just small. Tokyo Station. Oh, <laughs> Shinkan Bridge coming in. This is just random as hell. Random and so cute. Look at the little planes! The little wings are going up and down. Is this where that crazy orange man lives? Oh no, he's just walking behind it. See the Colosseum next to <laughs> everything else in the world. The Eiffel Tower. Pyramids. Well, I haven't been to the Vatican, so now I have. I'm gonna count it. One more down. So 
that was Tobu World? Tobu World, check. Um, it was basically a bunch of miniatures. The pictures <laughs> were slightly misleading. Um, but it was impressive. There was a lot of shit and they even gave us some ideas of places we might want to travel next and things to see that I didn't even know existed. And so many beautiful monuments there are in the world. So many monuments, so many countries to still travel to. Back on the road we go. And we're in Nico National 